fabulous people! Welcome to Cassis, one of the top South of France destinations. If you plan on doing France travel, today I'm going to share with you why this hidden gem on French Riviera should definitely be on your list. Now before we begin, please remember to smack that like button. And if you're new to my channel and my vibe and the vibe of this channel resonates with you, I invite you to subscribe. All right, fabulous people, let's begin exploring. He who has seen Paris and who hasn't seen Cassis can say, I've seen nothing. Frederick Mistral, beloved Provencal poet and Nobel Prize laureate. At first you wonder, how can someone make such a bold statement about Cassis France? Then you arrive here and it all starts to make sense. This French seaside village is extremely popular summer resort, particularly for French, yet still a hidden gem to the rest of the world. The picture-perfect Cassis Harbor, cute little cafes and local boutiques, colorful streets and limestone coves are simply captivating waiting on you to be enjoyed and discovered. And that's exactly what I recommend starting your day with Encasis, visiting one of these incredible natural wonders, the Kalonk. As part of the Kalonk National Park, these stunning coves made of white limestones form a narrow valley along the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea. Even if you are not an early bird, definitely start your day as early as possible as you have a pretty intense but fun and picturesque hike ahead, especially if you plan on visiting the most famous and distant Calang d'Anvon. Alright fabulous people, the entire hike is going to take you about one hour and a half and in my opinion it is absolutely the best way to enjoy some of the most spectacular views. Of course, in addition to hiking, if it's not your gem, you can also take a kayak or a boat. You can do just a group boat or a private boat. It is up to you. But in my opinion, guys, nothing beats hiking and those insane views from the top. There are many different hiking trails to take you to Kalang Danvo, but if you're looking for the most scenic route, follow the blue trail around the East Peninsula. I've done lots of hiking in my life, but these views were unlike anything I've ever seen. Just make sure to bring plenty of water, comfortable shoes and lots of sunscreen. When you reach the bottom, nothing can prepare you for the view of the majestic cliffs disappearing into azure water of the Mediterranean Sea. It's simply gorgeous. And of course, don't forget to bring a picnic because, trust me, you will be hungry. You can stop at any boulangerie on the way to the park for some sandwiches and cold drinks. Now, if you prefer to have lunch in Cassis, I have just the most perfect place for you. All right, fabulous people, we stopped for lunch at Chepoulet. Yes, this might not be the fanciest ambiance, but you know, some of those hole-in-the-wall, hidden gem type of places have the best food. So this is one of those local places where all the locals love to come and enjoy typical traditional French lunch. French food, which I'm literally drooling as I'm saying this to you. So I'm going to share everything with you. But if you plan on visiting Cassis, having lunch at Chapulet is an absolute must. After lunch, I recommend taking some time to explore Cassis, truly one of the most beautiful French Riviera towns. It's walkable and extremely easy to navigate. If you're looking for some regional sweets or traditional souvenirs to bring back home, definitely stop at one of the numerous local boutiques. I couldn't resist getting a couple of pieces of the world-famous Savon de Marseille, and I know my parents would have not forgiven me if I didn't bring them some traditional cookies from Provence. 
Once the evening sets upon this beautiful little coastal town and most people head towards the harbor, there is one very special place I want to introduce you to in this Cassie's Friends video. Located on the open air, right in the middle of the vineyards, Baido restaurant on the Baudin Wine Estate offers the most dreamy place to enjoy mouth-watering Mediterranean flavors and unique local wines. Fabulous people, tonight I'm having dinner at one of the most special places in entire Cassis. Oh, the lights turned on just in time for us. Now I'm going to share with you the entire culinary experience and of course the special ambiance of this place. Now if you decide to have dinner at this place when you visit Cassis, which I strongly recommend, make sure to make reservations far, far in advance, especially if you plan on traveling to Cassis in July or August. We started the dinner with Asian-style caramelized pork belly with coleslaw and wasabi mayonnaise. It was insanely good, to the point I was almost starting to regret not ordering the entire appetizer just for myself. But then the main course arrived and I was very happy with my previous decision. This ribeye steak for two with candied garlic and creamy peppercorn sauce was the highlight of our entire meal. And of course, the experience couldn't be complete without trying homemade peach pie with fresh whipped cream. After dinner, we head back to the center of Cassis to enjoy fireworks for Bastille Day, the most perfect way to end this truly special day on Côte d'Azur. Well, fabulous people, thank you so much for watching this Cassie's Friends vlog. I truly hope that you found it useful and beneficial. And before you go and start packing for your trip to France, please remember to smack that like button. And if you're new to my channel and my vibe, and the vibe of this channel resonates with you, I invite you to subscribe. And I truly hope to see you all in my next video.